Hey guys, it's John P from Geek Beat. Listen, we've been on the road traveling and so I've got a full on review of the D-Link SharePoint Go. Today's episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Domain.com. Okay guys, we have been playing with this D-Link router. It is the SharePoint Go. Let me show it to you. Uh, it's They call it the Pocket Cloud Router here, okay? Uh, so it's a tiny little portable device. It's got all kinds of cool features. I'm really digging it. Here's what I find to be the coolest of all. This is the power. It's coming out of this USB right now, but watch what happens when I unplug it. Completely uneventful because this thing has a battery built right in. Ah, well, how do I get this thing off? There you go. There's a nice big battery that's good for about four hours of usage. So we've got a travel router that will easily fit in a pocket and it's got some other neat features. Notice there's a USB port up here on the top. This sucker will allow you to plug in an external hard drive, which you could then, uh, let's say, stream media from a hard drive to an iPad or something else while you're traveling. You could also use that to charge a USB device like a phone from the battery that's in this thing if you were really you know, desperate for power. Um, over here, we've got the in incoming micro USB port which is going to uh, power it and there's just a simply an on off switch and an ethernet port. Um, it does have this nice little stand that folds up so if you want to stand it up you just twist that out and it'll stand right there. Now if you don't want to do that you can leave it like that and lay it down. I kind of like it standing because it lets you see these lights right here on the front. Friends, I'd like to talk to you for a moment about a terrible affliction that just haunts millions of people on a daily basis. Wretched, horrible domain name hosts. You can overcome this affliction by going to Domain.com. Did you know that Domain has excellent customer service and if you want hosting or to register domain names like .coms, the industry standard, you can use our coupon code for 20% off. GeekBeat. That's all you need to do. Go to Domain.com, register your domains, get you some hosting while you're at it, and get 20% off with coupon code GeekBeat. That's it. Don't suffer anymore. We'll see you later. Now, let's talk about how we might use this in a hotel. This is, uh, I'm using the Wi-Fi analyzer here. And you'll notice that the green uh, band is the hotel's Wi-Fi signal that we've got. The blue arc here is our Wi-Fi. So even though the, uh, there, there's Wi-Fi available, the speed obviously diminishes the further we are from an access point. And if you can sit in the room with your own access point, that's a big deal. Now, let me show you one other thing that really makes this router worth having. We're going to log in to the D-Link interface. And this is how you manage the router. It's, it's a, it's a web-based interface. I like it a lot, but here's the sexy part. If you've ever configured a router before, it's got all the same stuff, um, an advanced tab, wireless settings, etc. Here is what is different from every other router in the world. We're gonna to go to this internet connection wizard. This is a setup wizard. I'm gonna hit next. Um, it asks, uh, asks us to put in a password. It asks for a time zone, it doesn't matter. Skip all that. This is the sexy part, people. Configure your internet connection. What we can do is select from a variety of different ones, but this one right here, Wi-Fi hotspot, what it's asking us right now is what kind of internet connection we have. What are we getting? Usually, you'd have an Ethernet cable plugged into it, but Wi-Fi hotspot is here because sometimes you go to a hotel and they have Wi-Fi, but they want to charge you for every single device that connects to their network, like 10 bucks a day. Forget that. We're going to hit the Wi-Fi hotspot and go next. 
Here we go. Now, you see what it's doing is it's scanning for Wi-Fi hotspots. And here is our hotel, Hoshinoya Takatomi. What we could do right now is select that and then it will log on to their Wi-Fi using one of its internal wireless antennas and still create another Wi-Fi hotspot for us here that we can put as many devices on as we want, which is awesome. Now, let me show you the most insane thing of all because I couldn't believe this. I wanted to show you guys what one of these devices would cost. I thought they were about a hundred bucks and at a hundred bucks, this thing is good enough. I'm willing to give it a Geek Beat Editor's Choice Award. I will never travel without this router again. But look at this. I pulled up Amazon. I don't know why these things are selling for $38. That's insane, okay? And for some reason, it's got three stars on Amazon. I read through all of the complaints people had. They seem to all have been patched by newer firmware updates and stuff. I think this is a situation where we have an absolute diamond in the rough that is not getting the credit it's, it deserves. And I bought two more of these before I did this review. So they gave, they gave us this one, I bought two more. We will use them when we travel. I highly, highly recommend this router and I think you should go out and get one too. You guys, stay tuned for more reviews and news on Geek Beat. Head on over to youtube.com forward slash geekbeat TV. Give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.